My name is Elise S and I'm a 16 year old equestrian. It's so crazy to watch back all the clips of all these moments from my riding career. But that is not where it started. Shadow I felt the glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. But like heaven, I found my bones. It gave me comfort when I feel alone. Now you're gone. I'm alone, I guess it's time to get better Through the pain, I will go up Good morning, Claire Hey, Josh Break my bones, I will scream even louder So I started out riding ponies like most people do um, But I think a lot of people have the misconception That to be a good rider when you grow up You have to start out being amazing Which is just not the case at all. In fact, I did terrible on ponies. A couple years down the line, my parents surprised me with the horse of my dreams named Angelo. Unfortunately, I was only able to ride him for a couple of weeks before he was sent away to have surgery on his leg from an injury that happened before we bought him that didn't show up on the vetting. When the surgeon opened up his leg, it was a lot worse than we could have ever imagined and it became very clear that he was going to have a long recovery and most likely would never jump 3-6 like we had planned to. So in the meantime, I leased a horse named Calgary who soon became my safe horse. Fortunately, two years after we started leasing Calgary, we got a great deal and ended up becoming the owners of him, which was just the best thing ever because it meant no matter where I went or what I did, I'd always have Calgary to ride. He'd always be there for me to fall back on, even when I was learning on a new horse in the future. But everyone always said, well, you'll always have Calgary. He'll always be there. Um, that was until he wasn't there anymore. Calgary passed away on May 1st, 2019 from EPM, which is a parasite that got in his brain and basically stopped him from moving or eating. I was lucky enough to have one more chance left of having a horse during this time because not long before, my parents had bought an investment horse named Chinchino, who was a four and a half year old import from Germany. He was definitely a wild one and honestly I was pretty scared to ride him. He would take off quite a bit and he didn't frame or anything, didn't know how to collect. He only galloped and that was it. I honestly thought once he was trained we would sell him to someone else. Um, little did I know how much that horse would change my life. And 
there you have it. There is the writing story of Elise S. My 10 years of writing, I can say the one thing I've learned is writing is not all about rainbows and sunshine. If one thing I can promise you, it's that everything works out the way it's supposed to.